Hey, 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 Capricorn, this is your sacred scribe. You're ready to do your Tuesday, September. I was going to say August. It's September 8th to the 9th. Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for my Cappies. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you guys today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Capricorn, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Info is in the description box below. And don't forget to comment. Let me know if this resonates with you. I am going to get a channeled message for you in just one moment. But first, I'm going to get some cards here to see what's going on for my Cappies. See what Capricorns need to know right now. What do Capricorns need to know? What do Capricorns need to know? What's going on? Hmm. We have the King of Swords. The Three of Cups, the Seven of Wands in the Strength card, and at the bottom of the deck, the Page of Wands. All right, Capricorn, let's get this message for you from Spirit and see what they have. Say all that is in your heart, Capricorn. If there's somebody, and I feel that this may be a family member. So if you're having a conversation with a family member, don't hold back here. They're wanting you to express your feelings. I feel like if you don't, if you, they're saying, if you hold back, it's actually going to weigh you down. You're going to feel this. It's very heavy. This is something that you may not be used to. But it will be very welcomely received. It would, it, it's going to be received well, Capricorn, if you're worried about that. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Could have some good news coming. Hmm. I feel like there are going to be things that you have to celebrate within your life. It could have to do with business. And then in other areas, you're, I feel like you're fighting for something that you're going to need strength for. This doesn't necessarily have to be a love relationship. I'm actually not even feeling, I'm not feeling that with the seven of wands here. I'm feeling it's something else. It could be family. It may be related to saying what you need to say, like, expressing what you're feeling because there's something that you're fighting here and it's very emotional I'm feeling very emotional from the strength card ah uh, okay when you express this emotion right to this family member Capricorn it's going to start this flow of energy that's going to, it's going to clear up some issues. And I don't feel that they're, like, issues from way, way back when. It's just things that have gone unsaid throughout the years. And I do feel that this is a family member. And it's going to, once you do it, they'll do it. And you'll, you know, so it's really going to clear the air in a lot of ways. But this fighting um, for something, I don't feel it's the same family member. It could be, but I'm feeling, or at least 
Yeah, it's like a separate situation. Tell me about the Three of Cups here. Tell me about the Three of Cups. It could be you're reuniting with a family member here. Let's see. The Hangman, Ace of Wands. Okay, well, it could be a love relationship here that you're reuniting with. For some of you, it is also a family member. I did feel that. It could be something that you've been waiting on here with the hangman. But this is something that you're wanting a new beginning in the, with this reunion. It could be a soul reunion if it is somebody new. Clarify this ace of wands and hangman. The emperor. Yeah, somebody wants movement here. It could be you, could be the other person, but the emperor knows what he or she wants. Doesn't have to be male, could be female. And the emperor goes after it, right? Doesn't look back, goes forward. Aries energy, you could have that in your chart or the other person could. Okay, tell me about the King of Swords. Uh, there's some regret about the past with this individual. Again, could be a family member or a romantic partner here with this Ten of Pentacles. There is happiness here. So if there's sadness that comes up for some reason... It could be a past relationship that has nothing to do with this, but I feel that if this person is from the past, it is that relationship that there's sadness and regret about. But you know this is your happiness. This is, this is happy. This is abundant. This is loyalty. This is also marriage. Why is the Five of Cups here for Capricorn? Yeah. Listen to your intuition. Don't let... It's like, don't let the mind get carried away. Ah, it could have been a toxic situation. Whatever it is you're sad about, it was a toxic situ situation. There could have been codependency. You could have felt tied to this person. It could have been very sexually um, charged, right? But this is you. Why is this here? This is you again. Okay. So Capricorn, if this is somebody from the past, then you're wondering, well, not even wondering. I feel like it's a fear that is there a foundation that can be built here with the toxicity that it existed in the past, okay? If this is a new person and you're thinking about a past relationship out of fear, you're fearful that something about this could be toxic. Maybe something reminds you um, of this past relationship here. Tell me about the strength. Why do you need strength here? Why is this strength here? Eight of Wands. Passion. This could be at a distance. Four of Swords. Yeah, there's healing. See, now I don't feel this portion of the reading. Five of Pentacles and the Lovers. There could be a choice here. This is why strength is needed. Because you get the Five of Pentacles. I feel like in this past relationship, you, you're really thinking hard about the abandonment issues. Feeling left out. Maybe lack of teamwork. It's like your hopes were diminished. Your hopes were sort of shattered with this past relationship. And there's a lot of passion here between you. That I feel for the romantic um, part of it. And if, if this is revolving around a family member, which for some of you it is, there's a lot of love between you. But I feel that something came in between. The Hermit energy is clarifying the Seven of Wands. Yeah, there's a lot of insight you're going to be able to find about yourself and the situation, whatever it is that you're fighting for. 
and you're gonna open up your heart to this situation to this family member to this person it could be both so what is your advice try not to get too confused over this keep your head clear and don't make quick decisions, they're saying, out of anxiousness. That's what I'm feeling with the same. Seven of Cups here. Yeah, Three of Swords. Make sure that you're fully healed. That's what I mean. If you're not fully healed from whatever this, you know, Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles energy is, it's like... It's only going to be carried into this other thing over here. So make sure that you're healed. Make sure that the other person is healed. Yeah, see? Anxiety. That's what I was feeling. One more card. Nine of Cups. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on your wishes. It's just making sure that you're healed, that your heart is healed, okay? And that you're coming from um, a healed place, right? So it's not... The past isn't being dragged into the present. And there's sort of like a fresh slate here. Yeah. Two of cups at the bottom of the deck. Soulmate, twin flame, energy. So I feel like you will come together, both with the family member and with this romantic interest. All right, Capricorn. Oh, wait a minute. Whoever you have in your mind, I'm going to get a couple of messages from the untold messages of the heart. It can be a different person that you think this is. Doesn't matter. What message do they have for Capricorn? Let's see. Fear. I want this so badly, but I'm afraid of getting hurt. So I self-sabotage. Ooh. Isn't that funny how we do that to ourselves? Magnet, I keep being drawn back to you and I can't quite explain why. Well, they can't stay away from you, Capricorn. They can't help themselves. What else? Mask. Honestly, I pretend to be someone I'm not because being vulnerable means... Uh, being vulnerable feels uncomfortable. We've all been there, right? That's really goes back to the fear of being hurt, I feel, right? One more message for Capricorn here. Risk. I'm ready to take a leap of faith and risk it all for you, Capricorn. So they're ready. Just make sure that you are here. And at the bottom, we have shared energy. Space. I need to take a step back because I am still trying to figure out what I want. All right. So I think per this person is trying to get their shit together. There may be this fear involved regarding the space I'm feeling. Well, this goes for you too. So it's shared energy. All right, Capricorn. I hope that helped. I hope it made sense. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't, if you're interested in a personal reading with me. That way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let me know if this resonates with you. Have yourself a fantastic day, Cappies, and I will catch you on the flip side on the dailies.